Hello darling, welcome to my full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 and this is part 3. Clearly I've been hanging out with Astarian too long, but in this episode I'll be getting my final main companion, seeing what happens when you break a deal with the devil, hanging out in a goblin camp and getting smacked on the bum, whilst meeting a man in my dreams. This is a packed episode, so get a hot drink, some snacks and settle in. Please do hit like and subscribe and keep those lovely comments going. Leaving a like and a comment also lets YouTube know that you enjoy this video and so when I put out the next one, it will show it to you first. It's a win-win, so please do that now and let's jump in to Baldur's Gate 3. So, Astarian, which of us would you rather feed on if he had free reign? Shadowheart. Uh, I mean... Will, no question. He's strong, fast, and righteous. I'm salivating already. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. You sound disappointed. I'll bite you if you ask. I'm sure you would. Don't sound so eager. Hmm. All right, my darlings. We are back at it. We're going to go meet the devil. A tiefling, I should say. Will calls her the devil, though we did just have a dalliance with an actual devil. Hunt down Karlak. So around here somewhere. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Ah, could be our friend, couldn't it? Hello, hello. Save. Let's have a look inside. Follow the Oh. Nothing we need to worry about. Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's a for sure. A vampire spawn uh, and a monster hunter in the same group. Bad gas. We're not going to have trouble, are we? Shadowheart, shush. Excuse me. Since this tap hole, I'm barely a monster at all. I just want to survive. Same as you. Who's I in here? A problem. As long as Mr. Fangbear keeps his appetite in check. Surprise. Who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. like your armor. What is this place? A toll house, once upon a time. Now a house of respite for those of us burned by a devil. A devil? We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells. Hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil, but they collect souls through cunning, not carnage. Hmm. I'm curious to see if she actually is going to be a monster. If she is, me, a Starian, her, kind of, uh, are we the baddies vibes, you know? Isn't like a devil to use their brawn instead of their brains. Indeed. She's a uniquely vicious case. All the more reason she must be stopped. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. What is that noise? She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head. And Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. Huh. I'll think about it. May the just God guide you. Interesting. So even though she's a companion, it seems like if you wanted to. If you were playing that kind of character, you could. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Why, what's down there? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. Nice place to hole up in, what is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. 
There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. Toll houses mean gold seen in the around. There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Alright, well I'll come back with my devil friend, soon to be, and we'll take the sword and everything else. Alright. What now? Oh, hang on. Who's that? That's our new friend. I've got a long road ahead. Save, just in case we do something bad. <laughs> After last time, how it went with Gale, you never know. Something's on my mind. <laughs> One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, monster, what's it like to know you're about to die? There are no. These are no natural faint flames. Prepare to fight. You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The Blood War. You saw it from above as the Nautiloi passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, mm. not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. I can change her will. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. I'm finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Ooh, stand down, be practical. Looks like you found your mark. Let's send your devil back to... I mean, it's truly the choices you can make. You know, so many games, the choices matter where the choices really don't matter. We literally have the opportunity here of murdering her or getting her to join. It's like, it actually matters. Stand down, Will. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. <sighs> you saw her thoughts. She poses no danger to the Sword Coast. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. How do you will? And you are... That's, like, I'm very surprised that we had a will approves outcome here. I really thought bringing him would be like some drama maybe it's me or her this kind of thing so it's interesting to play it out that way where he's like wrestles with himself and then approves of it and admits that he's been deceived I like that um I'm Morphe well met soldier nice to meet a friendly around here it's been tough going so far I may not be a devil but I can put the blade's reputation to work how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? 
think I'd feel pretty Little good about that. background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Okay. Let's send them back where they came from. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by their short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. Waterbed. Sorry? Um, sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? I wouldn't dream of it, darling. Well, Will, what do you think of that? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And... I've played my part all too poorly. Oh, it's giving growth, hun. Don't worry. What's that supposed to mean? Someone sent you on Carlac's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is. I can say only this. Carlac's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted. Okay. And I'll pay my penance. You'll tell me what's up, huh? Penance. Intriguing. A chance to see the blade squirm, perhaps. Mm, you don't know the half of it. Alright, I was trying to flirt with you, but it's fine. Yoink in the backpack. Let's go back to camp and switch her in if we're going to go kill some people. Man, the real question is, off the bat here, from what we've seen so far, if you're picking out of everyone, who are you romancing? But secondly, for me, I'm like, Karlak or Shadowheart? Seeing a dilemma here once we get into their personalities a little bit more, maybe. But Shadowheart's pretty cute so far. We'll see what Karlak's like. Yeah? Um, in your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Hmm. About those paladins. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Mm -mm -mm. I'm drawn to violence. To blood. Obsessions that could become compulsions. Well, look. You've said it. Right out loud. That takes guts. The guts you'll need to change. Or at least make sure you're channeled in the right direction. I've got enough enemies who could do with a good bloodletting, you know? Hmm. An interesting reaction. So. Let's switch Will out. On the bench for this one, bud. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yeah. And just when things were warming up. Sorry, doing a whole kind of uh, sexy psycho run. Right, Karlak, you're with me. What can I do you for? Hell yes. 
You with me, baby. All right, back out we go. Flowers, leaves, grass. I was raised in the city, hot beating. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than mm. grass. She likes nature. All right, come on, gang. I went to Avernus. I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? You can say that again. Nothing in my recollection, anyway. No one stopped me yet. <clears throat> Who's this? Keep that beast away from us, you hear? Me, the beast. Now that's fucking rich. Back, beast, back! <laughs> Why can't we trade with you? You know... You're being awfully rude, darling, and uh, I'm not sure I'm going to stand for it. Oh. <laughs> Watch it, you could hurt someone goes inside. I mean, I was trying to push you off of a great bloody height here. Well, Karlak likes it. What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. Right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your. I love it. She's just happy to be alive. Hmm. I wonder. Seems like I could knock this down. How would I get someone to go under it? should see what dialogue we have first, don't you? No, down here, babe. Come. Still alive, so that's progress. You brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Hmm probe his mind. Ah. Oh. Flopped. What sort of devilment is this? Paladins to arms. This one is with the fiend. Damn. Well, I guess we'll find out what comes out of you, won't we? Outmatched. Flee a fight you'd rather avoid. Oh, are these like higher levels? I'm not afraid. Let's go, Astarian. Get down, city boy. Oh, beautiful, dude. What was that? That was huge. Oh, my lord the sword. Concuss him. Miss. Get her. Wow. That was pretty damn useful, wasn't it? Starion dropping the your mind like he's straight out of some sort of romance novel. <laughs> wow, this guy has a lot of health, but if we can get rid of the other one, maybe we can push it. Um, getting a bleed on him would be useful. Damn! Oh my gosh. Dude. Good, 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 good. We might bring this back just a starion. Oh, man. Well, I realized that I didn't level her up to our level before that fight, so that wasn't very helpful. So we're going to pick her subclass now. So you can be a wild heart barbarian. Your attunement with nature and its beasts inspires your rage. 
Will she get speak with animals? We don't need speak with animals, so... I have it. Berserker. Violence is both a means and an end. You follow a path of untrammeled fury. Slick with blood as you thrill in the chaos of battle. Heedless of your own well-being. Frenzy. Your rage turns into frenzy. You gain frenzied strike, enraged throw, improvised weapon attacks as a bonus action. Frenzied strike, enraged throw. Pick up an item or a creature and throw it at a target. Or wild magic. The wild influence of magic has transformed you, suffusing you with an arcane power that churns within you. Enter a rage that releases all the magic roiling inside of you, causing a random magical effect. Magic awareness. Anyone within range adds their proficiency bonus to saving throws against spells. Hmm. As a bonus action, make a melee attack. I did say I was going to build a, like, a tank to come with us, which may have been Lazel, but I kind of forgot Karlak existed, so maybe we'll go this Berserker route. We'll give it a go. There you go. You've got triple the health now. That would have been helpful, wouldn't it, in the last fight? So let's go up there and start that off again. We just want to go home. Oh, maybe I'll be able to detect his thoughts this time. Get another chance at the roll. Never mind. <laughs> what sort of devil? A bloody one. Hey, what the heck is this? Stay put, won't you? Oh, I wanted to be so. Oh, I wanted to drop that on his head. Was the idea, but. Can I throw something? Too heavy to throw. Throw something at it, though. Maybe a dagger? Right. Okay, let's... <laughs> Everyone just looks at Astari and, like... So what were you trying to do? He's like, I thought it would drop the light down. Well, then... I love the jump. It's so cool. What should I do? Uh, you should stay there because you're nearly dead. Another fight. Let's go. We'll deal with this. Curious, what's the barracks? See, if I have five of thirty, if I come out of wild shape, I just want to see and learn what that does health-wise. Oh, I'm one of twenty-one. Okay, so that was actually kind of keeping me alive, but I can now heal myself. Take you. Not that it matters. Bleed for me. Okay. Let's turn someone inside out. Let's use the dash. Can't quite get there though. But if they try and move, you'll be ready. It's all yours. Oh, if I'd got them over, they might have died from a shove. Man, a Starion coming in clutch. Let's get everyone up. little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Hmm. Tear this place apart. Zariel's gotta stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! Oh, um, you, Kalak? 
I meant like together. Um. All right, let let it out, sweetheart. It's it's a rage room. Okay, sorry. I'll just you carry on. I mind my business. Let's give her a minute, guys. Okay. I love that on the last video, someone pointed out that we're literally like patting butts to uh, get up, and it's so true. I mean, take his sword now. Sword of Justice and his clothes. Okay. Oh, that's me down again. Kinda. Are you good? Hey. Soldier, I need your help. Hey. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Um, hot. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Oh. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Hmm. You. Oh, I met someone who might be able to help, a smith who worked in the hells for a time. Well, now, maybe I could make his acquaintance. A titan screw or two might let me keep a little calmer. Maybe even manage a pat or bump without burning someone to death. It's been a long time. Let's go find your friend before I blow a gasket. Lead on. Who did we meet that was a smith? I don't remember that. First be loot. That's it. Oh, I don't have any short rests left. We should probably long rest, honestly. That was a big battle, so... Let's long rest and then come back and actually um, explore this place. Go in the basement and stuff. Oh. Hell's fire. She's coming. Well. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Well, well. Aren't you a luscious thing? You flatterer. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron. The fount of his power. My pet's been unruly. And his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Hmm. If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damn finger on her. Lost it all, Will. Don't lay a finger on her. Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. What did she do? Oil burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. 
His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. have you done? The promise broken, the price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Oh no. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Me? Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. What'd she do to you? Ooh, we got some conversations to have. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. He's a good man, maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Moving in. Astarian. I need to see what's going on with Will first, actually. Can watch me strut over here. Hmm. Just thought of something. What'd she do to you? God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not. not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. More severe? He's got horns in his head. You've been turned into a devil. An appropriate punishment. Uh, you warned me about Raphael, but a pacted to Mazora. What a fraud. I deserve that. Consider me properly shamed. That's why you were so it's adamant Mizora about it. It's grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. I wonder then if that is who appears is affected by the secondary subclass like we picked for Will. Because we picked the one with eldritch blast. So maybe it's different patrons and someone else would have appeared if he had a different pact with a different devil according to what we picked. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Hmm. Interesting. I mean... It doesn't not suit you. Alright, Astarian. Look at us. A couple of purple lovers, eh? There you are. I was just thinking about you. Were you? And that delicious moment we shared the other night. Well, the moment where you bit me. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you were my first. Really? In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. 
And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Once you pop, you can't stop. We're like a can of Pringles to this vampire. You're looking at other necks. I'm hurt. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. I'm a man of tremendous appetites. I don't think they'd volunteer, of course. But it doesn't make me any less curious. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Hmm. Something exotic, surely. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. Could I convince you to kill someone less useful? No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Starion. I much prefer eating flesh to blood. Gale. I could be tempted to try Lazel if I had to. Shadowheart. You, of course. Oh, is this? Oh man, like who would you uh, have a little, have a little sup on Shadowheart? A fine choice. She is enticing. Although the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Good hunting. Uh. There's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Right, well, before you go... Keep a blade close. Let me change your outfit, because... Good lord, dude. I can't... I can't have you in that anymore. There we go. Don't touch me. Meow, moving around. So if I wanted to, I could actually have my companions go and speak to Withers and change their classes. Hmm. All's well that ends. So that currently, like, my main party is a barbarian, a rogue, a cleric, and a druid. No to rest. It's not the worst. Sleep time. Rested. All right, we are back on the road after camping, and a little bit of an outfit change that I would try on some armor that we'd picked up and uh, stick a hat on. I don't know how long I'll All keep right. the hat on because it covers my pretty face, but we'll see how we go as we make our look at that waterfall. Oh, gorgeous! As we make our way to the Goblin Priestess, and also to see if we can find Halsin for the Druids, kind of back on the main path here. Oh, Indiana Jones vibes. Goblin camp. All right. Come on, I'll tell the gods what's what. Ah, it's the one we freed, so she should let us in. Otherwise, we'd probably have to fight our way in. Goblins ahead. Well, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the raiders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them lubies is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove. Um. Yes, I don't believe in keeping prisoners. Apparently. <laughs> then behave while you're inside. Our people don't mind it one bit. Thought you might That's say enough that. out of you. Come on. 
Gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. Eh, hey, copper, copper. Stop fidgeting. Can't call please from the bloody walls. Follow our new little goblin friend. Looking like something out of dark crystal. Subtle steps. Can't give up now. On my way. the overwhelming authority that you've used on others only infinitely stronger and turned against you your vision clouds leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... Prison. Oh, that's so cool. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. It's a shield. What is that thing? Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. Hmm. We should keep going. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. You got some explaining to do. What is that thing? That vision, that voice, what was it? That power. What is that? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? There must be more. I need you to level with me. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. You got eternal sunshine? If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Um... How long were you going to keep that a secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It's our code, our creed, our shield. This is the way. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. Very open-minded. Let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. What about the artifact? What just happened? There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. 
not least the absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it, before they find you. You have evaded them so far. Thanks. It's, gi it it's giving the Lord of the Rings. Itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadow Heart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination at any cost. Do you still do not know what it even is? Keep that thing safe. Seems we'll need it. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. I wouldn't ask her to hold, like, she would never give it to me to hold, there's no, no chance. It's giving fellowship. It's giving, it's the one ring and we need to get it to Mordor. Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Sure, sure, but that artifact, do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Hmm. How comes you have a weapon that can protect us? An item, I should say. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate. No matter the cost. From the Githyanki. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled. Only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Hmm. Admirable conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. How can you go through all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Let the matter drop. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Hmm. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I'm liking the sound of this. Hmm. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. You knew more than you were letting on. I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. I want to talk about your worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. I have no problems with Shah worshippers, if that's what concerns you. 
very charismatic. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Hit me with it. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the night and oh. lady of loss. Oh. I assume you've heard of her. Um let's go ahead and remind me. My lady Shah is the night singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. Like, literally? Or... <clears throat> um, when you put it like that, it seems strangely comforting. And also, Shadowheart. I thought I liked you before, but now you're giving goth girl vibes and... Uh, there's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust. The so-called gods they worship. The lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations. Fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Oh, I'd be lying if I said it didn't sound convincing. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You have a habit of saying all the right things. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. Maybe or both. both know myself. Oh my god, snap. But yes. Jinx, Once we've saved you're ourselves, coke. we can talk more on this. Very well. Let's continue. Guys, we're bonding so well. I need to take this armor off of you because it's reducing your rage. Barbarian needs to just... Did you say honk honk? Like a goose. I mishear that. Alright, goblin camp time. Wait, isn't this the guy from earlier? With fragulous crown and with scepter of braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. Got captured and being forced to perform. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So, raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had let you collide. Um, do <laughs> it. Do it. I never. You, move on. Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lie. You look like you need rescuing. Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, draw Ragslin. Um, are you uh, um, jealous? I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin. We pay. We. Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Right, I'll make Come it up on. to you. You're still just a babe. Of course, you don't feel like messing with me. It's a ripper. Idiot! Oh, shut it! Right, yes. Can we speak to Gribbo? No. 
Oh. Oh. This is where they're being taken. Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. Grab a drink before you see the priestess, Maka. The brandy stinks, Sammy Popper. This is um, very much like a pub in London. You know? Same vibe. Can the priestess heal people? Or does she just brand them? Seen her car more photo she's cured. Still, she's a chosen of the absolute now. See for yourself. Head inside and follow the sound of squealing novices. <laughs> Might just do that. What else is the owl bear? It's got wings. Reckon it can fly. The carb oh my god, it's so cute. Too fat. Dragons is fat and they fly fine. Well now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? Um, all that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This this is chicken chasing. <gasps> the owl bear. Chicken chasing. Well, that's not a chicken, it's an owl bear. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? What is chicken chasing? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just got to chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Got to do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you've been bristed by the bird. Seems cruel. I am a druid after all. No skin off my ass. Just remember, you had the chance to be a part of something grand, and you walked away. Ah. Hello, darling. Animal handling. Notice a shiver run through his feathered coat. Fear, a desperate longing for the safety of his nest. But his mother is gone, taken. All that's left are these creatures. Offer him your hand, he can follow your scent to your camp in the wilderness. The cub tilts his head. He's considering it. The cub seems anxious to leave but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. Do I not have my animal talking on right now? I thought I had cast that when I left the... Cam. Oi, where are you taking him? Mm, that smells delicious. Just leave him alone. We have to find housing before it's too late. Yes, yes, but the cub. Statue of Saluna. Go home. Cave. Mother. Oh. You. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's a big one, but that's just more for the chasing. I'm leaving, and the owlbear's coming with me. Is you now? Reckon I feel differently. Reckon the lads will too. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. 
it's interesting how this continues to come up, right? And the ability to, like, use that authority over people. But there's part of me that wonders if the more we use it, the more we're, like, succumbing to the powers of the tadpole. Because we still have these other options. And I trust in my druid persuasion to also persuade you, rather than use the illithid. You know? I don't want to rely on it too much. I am also pretty charismatic, so... Maybe with that in mind, I try not to tap too much into the brain worm. Hmm. But a did eat our last chicken. Right, go on then. Fat bird's yours. Don't need the ass. Nice. <laughs> so cute. I guess it went back to camp. Oh, there it is. Hello. Look, it's happily running around. And off it goes. That was so cute. I'll be the judge of that. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just the shattered sanctum. Oi, so much fun. Absolutely. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Not your usual horn to take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Oi! Ain't no party in here! Shake, it, Graw! Olak cleared us! Got a visitor for the drow, I do. My ass! What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. I wonder who's the drow that's going to be in here. This place is pretty cool. Makes my stomach tell. That's because she chose me. You're not worthy yet. The priestess. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Um, why? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody will mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This will sting. Oh, it's kind of tempting because showing the mark of the absolute could be useful. It could also get us into a bit of trouble. Hmm. Hmm. I'd rather not, though. Maybe you don't need it. After all, that's what I was thinking. Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving oh. you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Push deeper. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Is that so? 
Can we talk privately? It is a sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi. Hmm. Priestess. Interesting. We want the mark. Yeah. I was thinking about the getting branded because with the windmill guy, like, whoever it was that asked to see, I think it was the guy at the windmill, the goblin's there, and I said, I'm a true soul, like, I don't need to be branded, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I feel like they would still allow for it. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head. Hmm, what are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. The shadow's in my mind, but I'm like, kind of curious about those shadows, right? But let's see what happens. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Okay. Ungroup me. Ready. Everyone Whatever else head outside. This way. Astarian disapproves, gives me pause. Looking ahead. Let me do a little save just in case this does actually rid me of my voices because I don't want to lose them. Ready to clear your head. Give it a go. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So, there we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers Pick seeking pocket. flaws in fabric. Seal your mind. Allow her to rummage. Attack. I'll allow you to rummage for now. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flayer holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Um, pretty sure one of those is squirming in your head too. No, it's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? Hmm. Then get it out of me. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. What does your plan involve? It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. Simple. Let's see what happens. You won't regret this. I think Being I might. a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. Ah, oh, failed. Half elf, drink the potion. Let's just see where this goes. I don't think I would actually do this, but I'm curious. This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds. What do you mean? I drank the potion. What? Is that because I'm half-elf, the potions don't have any effect on me? I'm so confused. What are you talking about? Alright, so it turns out she's a traitorous little goblin. That isn't interested in helping us. As a result, she's going to pay the price. Soldier. Why am I sneaking around? Well, you're about to find out, dear. Just like time. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Just get her before she calls for help. That's the main thing. Oh, 
Nice. Stay on my feet. Oh. The world just got a little less wretched. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. Oh. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Wait. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Wait. Wait. If we kill other people with tadpoles in their heads and then take the tadpoles, are we like Scylla from Heroes and we're going to like drain them of their experience? Instantly I'm trying to remember every character we've run into that had a tadpole in their head and thinking, is this our quest as the dark? Like we just, we become a serial killer but of other people with tadpoles in their heads to drain them. Oh. Free the tadpole. Invisible. It's shielded from the voice of the absolute. From um Oh, do you know what's curious? I wonder what happens there. If you come to the goblin camp without Shadowheart, thinking about it, if you leave her back at camp, then you won't have the protection of her device. So I'm curious there what happens. Fine flare parasite specimen. Hanging suspended in murky slime. The living tadpole looks like some hideous cousin to the slug. <gasps> okay. Oh, I can consume it? I mean, let's bloody find out here. Hit a save. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Um, consume. The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to <sighs> leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. You cannot consume illithid parasites yet. Your dream visitor will inform you when it is time. Cool. Can we hide this body? Oh my god, we can pick bodies up. We can pick bodies up. Is there someone in the cage? Another goblin. Okay, there's people over there that just witnessed this entire thing. Have I been this way before? This her secret chamber. Defiled temple. What's going on in here? Never a dull moment. I'm guessing this is where I would have woken up if uh, I'd taken the potion and it had worked on me. Oh, um, hello. What's up for discussion? You, not supposed to be here. You look like someone else I met giving me terrible flashbacks. What else is going on in here? Scroll of burning hands. A chest. A bed. Oh, she sleeps with animal carcasses. It's down there. Seems to go on and on and on. Do you mind if we just have a little look? Don't want to draw any attention. Um, You've set foot in a restricted area. <laughs> a swift exit may be in order. Sorry. Sorry. I belong here. Um, this is my place now. If you don't leave, you won't leave at all. I'm here, aren't I? Hmm. Persuasion. I'm here, aren't I? You wouldn't have let me in if I didn't belong, would you? 22? Mate, what? I can change the dice. 
me is the flaming dice. I literally need to roll a 19. You have outstayed your already flimsy welcome, and now you will leave. Okay. Very well. Astarian, on the other hand, is much better at sneaking than me. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's keep to the shadows. Go on. Off your pop. Just like old times. You uh, set foot in a restricted area. <laughs> a swift exit. She maybe. turns around so quickly. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. Ugh. Step lightly. Anybody else want to go? Shadowheart, do you want to try and see if we can loot this place? Let's try this way. Let's see. Hello. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. This is my place now. If you don't leave now, you won't leave at all. in a restricted area. I think you could intimidate her, surely. The lad can trip and guidance. Give it a go. We tried to do this Such a headache. One day I'll the easy way. It seems you've chosen the hard way. It's raining. It's pouring. The ogre is snoring as we turn the water to ice underneath you. Let's see you run at us now. Laughter. Saved from the roll. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Shillelagh. Guiding bolt. you laughing at, Karlak? Miss! So many misses today. Tactical. Get in front of everyone. Go on, slip. Slip. Yes! Knock out or flee from a temporarily hostile enemy and return later. They might resent you, but they'll not be actively hostile. Come on, we slipped her over now. Take yes. advantage. It's, that's exactly why I took rain and the ice shard, because it's just... Using environmental stuff in their games is so powerful. Like, spill oil and then set it alight. Make it rain, turn it to ice. Um, you can sort of, like, mix different chemicals to make poison clouds and blow them towards people. Like, there's so much you can do. Still breathing, despite everything. And their environmental system is, like, really, really underutilized by most people. Okay, good job, good job. Let's make this quick. Miss. Let's go. Oh my god, she's literally prone, Karlak. I don't think crossbow is for you, is it, babe? Oh. 
Oh, she's getting up, and it's turned back to water. Take your time, dear. Ouch. Hmm. Blood comes easy these days. Knock her down. Crit, but it didn't knock her over. Let's just see a, see a spider. Oh, oh, oh. Disgusting. Why did I do that? What should you do? You should... Hit her. With a concussive smash. Saved again. We need to stun her. Heal yourself. Heating up. Not for too much, was it? Oh, six left. Spider. Can't give up now. Change back and never change into that again. I feel absolutely creeped out. Supply pack for camp. Nice. All right, now I can take a look around without being interrupted. You love some loot. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. Hmm. Very good, but I was in the middle of something. What's here? Scroll of burning hands. That might be worth a look. What? What is it? Pouch. With a gold ring. And some gold in. Anything on the other side? These like offerings, maybe. At least things have stayed interesting. Yeah, light it up. Honestly, I really want to see what she has here in her wardrobe. Maybe she has some clothes. Potions. Skull and bones. Carcasses. Can't use the chair that's fallen over. I thought I was about to sit in it then. Some scrolls. Selenite journal. Most of the pages in this age journal have been hastily torn out, perhaps for kindling. Thus, the interlocking circles will bring the full moons to match the stars, while casting darkness where it belongs at the bottom. That chasm to the underdark will stay sealed. I confess the design is not foolproof to outsiders, but I had to sacrifice complexity for material resistance. I've always wondered why Salune took me from the Hall of Wonders to serve at this temple as priestess. Perhaps this was the reason. A is for Azeth and other gods. Oh wait, a padlock key. Well, that's four. Let's see what's down this way. Feeling like this might be a separate way in if you sneak in from somewhere, but we shall investigate anyway. What's this skeleton got on him? Scroll of aid. Need something? I don't. Sorry, I'm trying to walk down here. Hmm. What's that? What is that? A rocky a crevice. Well. I know a cat that might. Smoke powder barrels. A 
doorway. Hmm. Fire wine. This door's locked. Now I know last time I turned and then I couldn't use wild shape again to get out for some reason. I'm wondering what there is that I should be doing here. Okay, like there's loot, but... I wonder what would happen if you blew all these barrels up. And where does this lead to? Who are you? You're not goblins. You are just outside where we've been, right? Is that not where the priestess was? That's where we met her and she led us up there. There's people that aren't goblins in here. Hmm. We'll go talk to them from the other side and see what they say. Mind. And, well, in it. Dismiss. What to do? Why am I, um, walking everywhere? Encumbered, that makes sense. <laughs> I have to get rid of some stuff. What are these discs? Puzzle. Interlocking circles with moons and stars. This must be the seal mentioned in that journal. Huh. And we can turn stuff. Stars, 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 stars. Ah, wait, I can... Ah, I see. Hang on. So I want to pass these around. I didn't realize I could do that for a second. Okay, rotate again, and then watch. Turn that. And you onto here. And you onto here. Huh. This goes very Darkness. far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. We opened the door. Let's go in, guys. the darkness. Oh my gosh. to judge. Where are we? Why are we in combat Close mode? That ends. Not as bad as it could have. It's kind of pretty down here. What's happening with this? Interesting. Portcullis. Wow, this is a big area. Look at all the bioluminescence. Minotaur. Kept at bay. Huh. Careful. Not everyone looks this good dead. Looks like there's other spots here, but I don't see anything to do. Let's carry on with um, 
on the trail for now. Not seeing anyone. Wait, there's a lever here. Well, I feel like if I step out there, I'm going to get fried, aren't I? Yep. Yep. Back inside. Back inside. Oh, wait. I just realized I still have a body in my pocket. Hang on. No wonder I'm encumbered. Uh, I forgot about you. Let's leave you there. Walking around with a goblin in my pocket. Uh, hello. Right. Anything I can do here? Let's head back out. I want to see what the story is here with these three. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. That's so. What business does someone like you have in a goblin camp? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mate. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. So you're a trader. It's slaves you're buying, not prisoners. Oh, dry your eyes, ill mater. It's me or a goblin cookpot. I know which I'd choose. Now, much obliged for the chat, but I'm here to trade. Let me see what you got. Some armors. Some weapons. Gonna need to do a bit of a shop at some point and get some of these. Like, how much is this? 836 for a better great axe for Karlak. Hmm. Well, let me get rid of all my um, junk here. Pleasure. And uh, who are these two? You don't have permission to be here. Oh. You're about to be ejected. I'm... Do I look dangerous? <gasps> Did it. You managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Oh, so this is your storage. All of those weapons and the smoke powder and stuff that are in there. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. Blowing my what? Nothing for you in there, mate. Okay, I, I'm I'm a little curious to investigate that more, what I can do by sneaking in as a cat with all of that there. Maybe you can sort of set some sort of fuse on it and blow this place up or something. I don't know. Alright, should we go see what's occurring here? Back to the main point of everything. In here. Shogun and Shukok, or Taisho Kekdor! I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the absolute! Must be reading it wrong. Suga now Shukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul, 
He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. I talk to the dead. Hmm. Study the corpse. Was this the mind flayer that tortured you? This mind flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death. But not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. Disgusting. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. Uh. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Ooh, we could attack, we could leave, let the ceremony proceed. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call Dek Shulko Kank! Too curious for my own good. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Dig into Raglan's mind and control the interrogation. A ten. Come on. With plus two for wisdom. Ooh. Good roll. Raglan's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raglan's voice, you ask. Who killed you? Who is the Absolute? What were you doing in Faerun? Look at this scary silhouette behind. What did the killer want? What were you doing in Faerun? What were you doing in Faerun? Faerun. Ragslin scowls, shocked by his own words, and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. He is suspicious, confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Who is the Absolute? Who is the Absolute? Ragslin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. You see an image. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, gnarl teeth, dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. You're kidding me. Very helpful, squid. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. We can't ask who killed you because that will out us. It's really interesting how different sort of people with the parasites are being commanded by different of those three sort of chosen as well. Why were the Gith chasing the ship? Let's just like throw the question away. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, 
silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right! Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. It's getting to that point where we're going to have to uh, choose between the grove and the goblins, I guess. Can't you do your own dirty work? Say that again. I know I didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. Fine, fine. I'll talk to her. Falling in line. Just what I like to see. The Starian's inspired by what? Um. Interrogating the dead mind flayer without drawing suspicion. He liked that. Oh, where's that ladder go? Curious. Up to the rafters. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. A grease bottle. So, whilst I'm here, I've got to speak to this drow and also rescue that bard that was intense I wouldn't want to bump into that thing while it was still alive you really wouldn't of course the absolute protects us now but still just want to look at all the environments everything so where is this drow then? Ah. Through here. Is this the main area? Yes. What's that thing? Seems like a good moment to talk. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. A scrying eye. Give a cheerful wave. You sense no reaction from the unblinking eye. You have already failed. Here we go. And now you dare to question me. Hello. I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it. Yelly. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Sazza. I'm back! And I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings. But them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Ah. Oh. Well, the thing about that is... They sort of massacred us. This mug helped me escape, though. I say we stick a few holes in her. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. No, nah, a compy. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. <gasps> My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. 
Don't hurt me, mistress. Please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up up. I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. Keep quiet. She's telling the truth. She didn't know I explained everything to her. She's too stupid to understand. I mean... Didn't you just try and get me in trouble? You could have told me who you was. Somebody help! Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Oh. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself, on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn oh, what a choice! and access to the cult's inner circle. Man, a really, really villainous playthrough. It seems like you've got some great options in this one. I don't know. The people, like, we had a good time in the grove. All the tieflings. I like the tieflings. We've got a bit of a soft spot for them. I mean, can we just say I'll get it done and then not do it? I'm pretty sure we can just lie to her, right? I don't know if slaughtering her here is the thing. Um... Honestly, I want no part of it. I can't... I mean, they're druids as well. I can't... I can't for my own people, honestly. I do not intend to lead a suicidal charge. The goblins are expendable. I am not. The Absolute brought you here for a reason. To throw open those gates and crush our enemies. I have another matter to take care of. Take care of it, quickly. You are needed here, and my patience wears thin. Sniveling <sighs> wretch in the time to feed the crawlies. The village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. But Scout said that see where she gets taken to. There. Something back. It's not our concern. Like our a playthrough where you are a full absolute cultist and just sort of murderous would be interesting. a dark urge. I want to see where they take Saza. You can't do this! We grew up together! Yeah. And now I'm a royal guard. And you're spider bait. <laughs> Funny how life turns out, isn't it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. I don't like that very much. Let's see what that did. For the completed quest. Prepare to raid the grove or save the refugees. Or save the first druid. If I go get Halsin, he's here somewhere in the goblin camp. That's probably the way we're going to go here. You know, the saw. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Does your bird have a name? Um, Pitch. Do you have plans for Pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to you? I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Read thoughts. Is that... What did I get? What is that? Is that literally like... 
what does that even mean? Critical failure is like literally a zero? Roll again. Better. This Ranger better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. Withholding prisoners, your boss won't be happy to hear that. What? Uh, I ain't. Minthora don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Bloody think. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Okay. You know what else lives on for eons? Gold. You owe me. Oh, what's a bit of metal between allies, hmm? I'll do one better. Tell me where we can meet each other once we've slipped the goblin yoke. And I'll offer much more than gold. Knowledge, my friend. Is priceless. Hmm. Go to my camp. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something. Are you going to be hanging out in my camp from now on? Do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. Camp's getting full. Boop. Away he goes. What else is happening in this goblin camp? Oh my god, there are prisoners everywhere. For you, mistress. Are you okay? Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him. I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Who invited you a goblin? Yes. One who claims to be a master of pain. Pain is intimate and loving. But trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes. Something terrible has happened to you. I feel an endless nausea that only goes away when I'm killing. I'm a contemptible blood pervert. <laughs> Say it. Do not be ashamed, child. What I see in your eyes, in your soul, is only natural. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of Pain and anguish. Everyone after the pandemic Please, be like. Let me alleviate this pain. How? As the maiden of pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance administered by my skilled hand. 
Um, My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Shadowheart? This man is of common stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Touch me and you'll lose your hand. Is that a promise? <sighs> a pity, though. You would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. I'm gonna pass on that one. Was curious, but also no. <laughs> Let's see what's happening next door. Daily, through your belly. Come on, scream, scream our back. Come to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say will take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. With the performance I'm taking over, your sloppy handiwork's going to kill the prisoner too quickly. Bit of charisma. Nice. Get out of here, you gobbos. What? Think you could do better? <laughs> Go on then. How about it? I don't put on shows for amateurs. Leave. What? You shy or something? Fine. Muck it up and the drawer of your head. Come on, Crush. There might still be a slurp of ale to be had. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> yeah, beating it good. Wow. The prisoner! Oh, forget about Beating himself. There'll be more. Please, let me out. There's no reason for this. Came for the night song. Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they said they'd eat him. Please, please, these shackles. I don't want to die. One more question. Where's the druid? Helsin. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear. What? But I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. Please, get me out of here. All right, I'm not going to leave you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pick the lock with sleight of hand. Looking for a 12. Oh. Fluffed it. I don't want to get caught. Try again. Come on. Burning through inspiration in this goblin to have to stay alive. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What does the night song do? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. 
They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Good luck. What's that? Oh. Got another little way out of here, over here. So we got to search for Halson. Not on the map, though, is he? I'm still intrigued by this. Hmm. Let's maybe give it a go. Well met, dear child. Would you enjoy some hands-on <laughs> worship of Leviata, maiden of pain? Sure. Let's try it. Oh, I have something. Exquisite in Karlak mind. disapproves. She's, um... Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain. Judgy. Dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Okay. Simply face the wall and we can begin. The wall where there's a huge puddle of blood. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. What do you got for me? <laughs> the pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Constitution, try and hold back cries, performance, yelp loudly, dramatically beg for mercy. Intimidation, a child can hit harder than that. Um, put on a show. With our charisma. Okay. Not a great starting roll. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Would you have joined up with her if you'd known she'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Astarian. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Writhe in exaggerated agony and cry out. Now I've got to roll a ten. Let's not use the guidance just yet. I feel like it's gonna keep going. Oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, just about. These are some low rolls. We're getting a bit of luck here. That's it! Do one! Let Loviata hear you! My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Try not to lick your lips as you say that. Honestly, the most painful thing here is your haircut. You are doing so well. Do not give in now. Mercy, I can't take it. It's too much. Yes, you can, child. Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Offer it all. Once more. I need heat. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. That grin, she looked like she enjoyed herself. Oh, as did I. Dear one, Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Cool. And on a personal note, that was positively divine. Calm down. Oh, that inspired Shadowheart. Looks like that's going to bruise. 
I need to see that again. Well, Ask him if you can do the penance thing <laughs> too. That was not what, what I expected to see today. Get in there. We might learn something. Um, so how did you guys feel about that? May the darkness protect you. Anyone have any comments on what I just went through? Face the wall. Need something? No, no one wants to say anything. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna heal myself up then. Yes. This will do nicely. What's happening here? He's gonna have a go. Inspired by me. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Oh, let me try that fancy whip thing after. Now is not the time to ask that. Karlak dancing back there. <laughs> That is not what I meant. Hit him again. No, that's enough. Didn't learn anything. So what was it for her there? A kiss without mercy and do the ritual of Loviata until Abradak is pleased. She liked it. Let's level up. Go with that for now. And a feat. Choose a feat from the list below. Lots of them. Performer. Gain musical instrument proficiency. Charisma increases by one. So then I could, like, play instruments. I'm immediately tempted. Tough. Hit point maximum increases by two. Tavern brawler. Spell sniper. Skill. Gain proficiency in three skills of your choice. What else do we have? Learn two ritual spells of your choice. This is quite the choice. Magic Initiate Druid. Learn two cantrips and a level one spell from the Druid spell list. Oh, so if you want to be, you want to mix it up and be like a bit of a hybrid, you can grab something from elsewhere. Three luck points. Used to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. Could be uh, interesting. Dungeon Delver. Advantage on perception checks. Saving throws. Alert. Five bonus to initiative. Can't be surprised. Actor. Charisma increases by one. Increase one ability by two. Or two abilities by one. I mean, why wouldn't you grab Performer? Like, if Actor makes your Charisma go up by one, Performer does that and gives you musical instrument proficiency. To be honest, I really just want to be able to play musical instruments. This is probably not the smartest thing to take as a feat, but I just... I do like that idea. I'm going to be a Performer. Take my Charisma to 17. It's pretty powerful, isn't it? A serial killer would be. We're that type. Let's be honest. Alright, after that little spanking, let's uh, carry on. Let's see what my buffs are. Lobiata's love. Pain is the path to clarity. Oh, hang on. Pain is the path to clarity. When you have 30% hit points or less, you gain two bonus attack rolls and wisdom saving throws for three turns. Like, forever? So where could... What's his face be in here? Is he meant to be here somewhere? I want to come across like a really well-spoken goblin. Oh, hello. Thou art upon the fine morrow. <laughs> the walk pens. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What's in the mall? Oh, what are you doing? Cutting up dinner for them. The butcher. Juicy one. Them elves sure bleed pretty. <laughs> See? It's squeal! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands to 
D3. Stop them! Free me! A bar. Again! Again! Make it squeal again! Hmm. What the hell are you doing? We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises! We made it squeal! Look, look, you'll see! Give me that rock! I'll show ya! Please let me throw the rock at the child. How about a taste of your own medicine? Let him out, I'll take care of the beast. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, Mum. I'll open the cage for you. I was going to say, like, goblin kids, how cute, but then they just turned out to be so awful. Good. Now they die. <laughs> uh, leave the bear to the goblin's mercy. Charge the bear, attack the goblins. I mean, all right. Time for blood. Let's get him, bar. Get one of my own. <laughs> We're about to kill some goblin children. Well, <laughs> the child has happy, happy as a buff. And it just looks so, um, oh my god, look at it, just, I know, mister, what this is about to do. I said, you got six HP. A strong breeze might blow me over. Oh, ma'am, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I am. Oh, really? <laughs> Astarian, how could you? Unbelievable. On the way. <laughs> Neat little dodge. Not gonna let these out, are they? Oh dear. Trying to bite their way out. I really hope this doesn't trigger the entire camp after we've done so well to no don't get the others don't get the others stop them someone stop them that's why the kids have to go Someone's got to stop them. Can't let them get notified. Can you get up there? Dash. Ah, uh, who would be better at dashing? You're kind of like the only one that's even close, to be honest, babe. This whole camp get alerted. Covered. It's fine. Oh. Opportunity attack. Just get next to this one, and then hopefully you can block them off. If they run past you, hopefully you get an opportunity. Also, this. <laughs> Still on my feet. Woo. Hang on. I got you. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Damn, I can't cast anything else. Need to find a way forward. Yeah. Gotta focus. I'm gonna 
have to ask you to kill a child, I'm afraid, Shadowheart. Okay. Now we're good to go. Break them. Too heavy. Let's try and clear them before these break out. Five HP left on that gate. Oh, never mind. Cave bear. I'm guessing the bear is the druid that we're looking for. Because the guy on the rack said he turned into a bear. I'll frenzy up. We're gonna need it. Nothing important is ever easy. Finish it. Oh, I, th I didn't realize you were. I don't know how I didn't see you there. That's rude. do you have? 27. Let's uh, use a guiding bolt. Damn, miss. How much health does the bear have? Loads. Okay. Yes. Oh, I stepped in a load of web. Hideous laughter. One. Two. Ah, not enough to get there, but I'll throw this body. Missed. Behold the dance of death. Job. Take me. Halson. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down not the Not what I expected. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. Well. <laughs> A true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Just king of the bears, mate. See so your Halson, the master Halson of the Emerald Grove. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Well. I heard you're an unmatched healer and I need your help. Indeed. Well. Not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. It's weird that it triggered Shadowheart as the thing. Oak Father preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm... I don't know if I want to show him the artifact, but... I guess, maybe. Maybe, the, maybe it is the artifact that's protecting us. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. Of course. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but... I found the next best thing. 
I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Where? I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Well, will you come with me? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. How? My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow in Thara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess gut. They oh, are the ones holding one these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. I feel like... On this run, our gang would take out the goblins, but I really would want to do like a villainous run in the future and side with the goblins. Just create a complete villain, you know? But um, since we're a druid, I feel like we would align with these people. The character would be, you know, it's a bear man and we got to go with it. So, um, having a bear druid at my side might make things easier. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. Hmm. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. Okay. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. Oof. All right, you know what? You stay here. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. feel like we might get to be a bit sneaky like we were with the priestess kind of reduce things down a bit one day I'll catch a break does it still make you a child killer if it's a goblin All is pretty bad isn't it still um, we should probably rest after that fight, honestly. I don't know if we want to do a long rest, though. It's kind of in the middle of it. Two short rests? Who's got spell slots left? Looking ahead. Long rest, but let me save it in case some craziness happens or the grove gets attacked whilst we're long resting. Because it is a day passing. to get back and warn them, don't we? Although I guess we won't need to if we kill the leaders here. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Press your fingers to your mouth. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness, sweat, blood and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Oh. Yo, what? Chukil Gake Vlaketh Mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you. Then the others. Then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Hmm. A surrender to Lazel. You will not become an abomination. I want to see what's in your mind.
a shadow swims across your vision and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Lazelle's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazelle, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon. Forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Blacketh. Be strong. You'll survive this. You'll please your queen. Used her mummy issues against her. I will not let the take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I love how we're literally amongst the castle as well. Again, it just changes location depending on where you're sleeping. We're literally in a goblin camp. I came just in time. You are transforming. Ah, uh, Sagobo. It's my guardian that I created. <laughs> Look at him. voice in my head. In real life, I mean. It's my little goblin. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. Ah, it was you. I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Imagine hacking the poor off. You know what happened last time I imagined hacking a poor off? I'll take your hand. time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. It's the opposite of what I've been planning to do. This place is gorgeous, by the way. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. closing in. I will be back. Like some dream world. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. So his advice is to use it and learn to wield it better, whilst I was trying to use it less because I didn't want it to take control. <sighs> Interesting. What's Scratch got to say? Dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. We can play, um... Fetch. Oh. Okay. Couldn't have been any worse. Scratch, it's me. Can I roll 
again. He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. His eyes track the ball avidly. He shuffles on his paws, ready to chase after it. <laughs> Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. I can't throw the ball. Also, just always have speak with animals on. So annoying that after a rest I have to do it. Where's the ball? Throw. Go on. <laughs> and you brought it back to me. That's so cool. No hesitation. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. I've already got the next couple of hours ready to go, so I'll be editing that as we speak and getting it ready to go out, so make sure you hit that subscribe and the like button so that you see it first. Until next time, good night.